Hello everyone, thank you for watching. Um, it's been a while, I had some uh, personal things uh, the, a couple of months, so I was not able to create new content. But I'm uh, making a restart and I hope you're still watching and checking my videos. Today I'm going to show you how you can um, debug a published uh, web API in, uh, in Azure. So uh, for example you have like a web API, your web app, and you're hosting it as an app service and you want to remote debug it, um, then you can make that done using Visual Studio in the Cloud Explorer. Uh, in the past, it was also um, yeah, it was also called remote debugging for the guys who were still uh, worked on premise like me. Uh, we had like a similar thing. You you install the, the remote debugger and on the server and then you connect to it. It's actually the same um, concept. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's start. I already opened my Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new project. It's going to be a uh, yeah, ASP Core Web App. For now, I'm going to call it uh, Test Debug Web App API. I'll click on Next. HTTPS, I'm going to leave it on the core uh, 3.1. No authentication. Just gonna <coughs> just gonna test one endpoint. Well, it's creating the project. I'm gonna pause the video for now. Well, the project uh, is created. Uh, we have one uh, default uh, uh, controller it's called the weather forecast. What does it do? Yeah, something random. It's I think it just gets one of these cities and then just some r random temperatures. Nothing really fancy, but enough for us to test. So um, yeah, first we're gonna create a publishing file. So we need to initially publish. Do be aware when you are debugging, and there needs to be a debug version on on the ser on the uh, on the app servers. I'm going to show you just in a moment how uh, how you can do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to create a new one, create a new app servers, just uh, F1, the free uh, free tier. Gonna keep on the same service plan I was uh, already have created in the past just the F1 just for testing of course when it's in production or uh, it's uh, your company's main website that won't uh, yeah it won't be uh, good to do it on F1 I think F1 has a limit of 60 minutes a day so uh, yeah that would be really exciting that your company's website could only be uh, available for 60 minutes a day Well, it's finished. Click on finish. Um, now, when we click publish, it will build the project and uh, publish it to our app service. We could directly say, no, we want a, a debug version, or we could say like, hey, we're gonna do the first time a release version. Uh, now for demo purposes, to save you guys some time watching, I'm uh, I'm just gonna do it on debug version, uh, for, uh, version configuration. Well, click on publish. Well, it's finished. Uh, if we now go to our, I think it was weather forecast, we will see some results. Great. So we have a debug for version on the, we deployed the, deb the debug version on the, on the app service. Do be aware uh, when you're done debugging, uh, change this to release or else you will get some, uh, uh, it's a security risk. I think also when it's in debug version, you get uh, when there's an error, the full stack trace is uh, is published or is outputted. And that's the thing you don't want uh, concerning security wise and stuff like that. Well, we uh, managed to uh, deploy a debug version of the app service. And now we're gonna, uh, we want to debug it. We go to view. We go to Cloud Explorer. We see uh, if you're logged in. If you're not logged in, log in. You will see all your app services. Here, you see these are our app service plans. 
here are app services. I'm gonna look for this one we just created, the test debug. And as you can see, we already have some more things you can do. See streaming loss, download the published profile, etc. etc. But we want to do attach debugger. And this is uh, yeah, the first time it's a little bit of a uh, little bit buggy. Uh, I think the last time I tried it, <laughs> it almost uh, crashed my whole Visual Studio. So do be aware of that. I think it's just a performance issue, not uh, nothing uh, really serious. Also, to be honest, my current laptop is not uh, as good as I had uh, in the previous videos. I was using a VM that's uh, that was running on a on a high uh, uh, high plan. I think uh, I forgot, but I was it was almost like 80 80 euros uh, a month. And uh, yeah, that sounds a lot, but I used to only use it like two or three or four times a month. And then the costs were like, yeah, five dollars, five, five euros or ten euros. So uh, it's also maybe if you guys in the near future are trying to do testing and stuff like that. And you say, yeah, I don't want to use my local machine. That's a good option, you know, uh, just having a VM, uh, setting, it, setting it up with all official studios, stuff like that. And uh, oh, yeah, thank you. So the first time it didn't uh, pick it up. It gives me memories to the time, uh, to the days I was still uh, developing uh, at the first company where I was working. They were working with uh, VC, uh, uh, WCF services. And we also used to use the debugger to uh, remote debug. And also that sometimes uh, had some strange issues. Well, let's hopefully this time it will pick it up to be sure that I will already place a, de uh, a debugging statement here and also think how you can know it's working when it's on and you see uh, the debugging statement uh, breakpoint being being fully read it gives you an indication that it's working so just a heads up for that the current version of Windows Remote Tooling does not match this version of Visual Studio. If error occurs, try installing the match version of VS Remote Tools. Unable to start standard collector, please try repairing it. Well, this is baloney because I just tested it before uh, making this video and it worked. But yeah, what I said, like it's really performance wise, uh, takes a lot of, it has a lot of impact. You can also see it here. Uh, see the teams. Yeah, it was clocking 100%. Well, this is strange. It actually has 90% of the uh, memory. It took 90% of the memory. That's bad. Okay, this is strange. This is the debugger is already running. I'm just gonna close my Visual Studio for uh, for a moment. Test some issues. Let's see if I see something in the logs. My um. Do I see something, some process that did not stop? Hmm, that would be a possibility. Mm, not seeing anything in particular, no official studio. It could be that when I uh, just did it uh, like uh, 15 minutes ago, did not uh, close the, the remote debugger uh, completely 
and now it has some issues like it says like hey there already is a debugging session running that could be the case but uh, yeah let's try it again hopefully it works There was the one. I love it when a demo goes. Uh, well, it's a reference to 18. I love it when the plan goes together. Okay. Let's try it again. Hopefully this will work. It's loading. Yeah, the web services. Test debugger. Fingers crossed, guys. Positive, negative, I don't know, I think it's positive, things go to run, let's let, 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 uh, jinx it, so, uh, I think it's running, let's test it. So we're gonna hit our endpoint, and I think it's working because it hit the uh, the breakpoint. As you can see, it's a little bit slow, but I think it has to do to my computer and not to the fact to this uh, remote debugging. I'll but yeah, uh, as a note, I I did encounter that in the in the in the past uh, when I was using with the old version of the remote debugger that was working uh, locally. I also had like uh, sometimes really performance issues, but uh, yeah, that's the thing. As you can see, we can debug, so th this is really handy now. Maybe uh, uh, some n nasty bug that only appears when you deploy it to to, to app servers. Uh, this could help you. So uh, now I'm gonna just uh, F5. F5 it doesn't really understand F5. <laughs> Normally with F5 it just continuous but as you can see it works well guys thank you for watching please like share subscribe and if you have any comments some suggestions please put them down in the comments uh, below uh, hopefully I'm gonna make uh, some more content uh, content in a couple of weeks uh, so uh, please keep on watching and if you have any suggestions of videos you would like uh, I have experience Xamarin SharePoint development, uh, you name it, you know. So, if you have any suggestions, some Azure questions, you just can contact me. I'm also available on LinkedIn. You can contact me and I will try to help you as much as possible. Well, thank you for watching and have a nice day.